first uh, I feel beyond like happy, like uh, almost <laughs> to that point where I landed and I drove around and seeing all the Korean writing, seeing all the Korean people, I almost felt like I wanted to get, you know, I felt emotional. And being that I was born here and I left so long ago and it is my first time back, you know, I'm, I'm like beyond happy. There's nothing to explain it, just, you know, so yeah, just blessed, you know what I mean? And blessed to see everyone here too and half the people here, I don't know who I'm related to, but I bet you I have cousins here right now. <laughs> you know, uh, when I left Korea and when I was young, I spoke a lot of Korean when my parents were, before my parents uh, divorced, <laughs> they always spoke Korean and they always spoke Korean to me. So when I, up until I was seven, I spoke Korean a little bit, but I lost it. I lost it, so now when I hear it, I can understand a few words and um, it's just, it's upsetting for me, you know, coming here and like I lost, I, I, I know less than what I, when I left here. My goal is to learn Korean again, like to try to get it down. You know, I know all the basics, like Kam and and I knew like old songs. I was telling uh, some of the people here when I was a baby, I used to sing like Kuyang Dang, you know that one, and San uh, Tuki Tuki. Those, those songs were like, I remember them as a little kid. My parents always making me sing them. And it's, you know, Korean parents are strict. When we, went to, uh, the, when we went to the United States, very strict my whole life. Skateboarding was no way, you know, so crazy. One skateboard, that's it. One skateboard, I only had for two weeks. And I went to a donut shop when I was a little kid and it got stolen. That's it, no more. After that, I asked people like, hey, could I please have your old deck and find trucks and see uh, walking from home from school and seeing somebody's old skateboard on the lawn they threw away and I'm like, and like I'm running. And then I just, take it home and start to make little pieces of uh, roller skate wheels, bearings, and I just put it together, and that's how I ended up skating. But that's it, my parents only bought me one skateboard. Yeah. Ever since that, it's by myself, getting pieces and equipment until I started getting free boards, so pretty crazy. And I started late, 13 and a half years old when I started skating. It's, for me, it just never, it was more just always, filming, always working, and then people would say, hey, can you come down? But for me, I didn't, I hate planes. I hate traveling. Like I'm a, I'm super um, homebody, you know, I like being home. So everybody's like, travel, you wanna go here? I'm like, nah. And then, but up, up until maybe a year ago, now I wanna travel more and do that and try to like, uh, you know, see more. So, you know, once I got on uh, Adidas, um, they said there was a Korea trip too, and they put me on it, and I was like, what? I'm like, I can't believe I'm gonna be in Korea for this thing. And you know, I didn't get the, I didn't really get a chance, like, for Adidas, I didn't, the video was already done when I pretty much got on, so they just wanted me to film a few tricks. I wish I had way more tricks in this video, but it wasn't set up that way. You know, it was for the whole team filmed already, but I wish, being here, I wish I had so much more to show Korea, you know, so. But next time, you know. Uh, one chance I got offered, but it was during a time where I was filming for three different videos for um, Round 3 and Skate More at the same time. So it was really hard. It was really hard to just uh, say, okay, I'll just go to Korea because I didn't know if there was spots and I didn't, you know, when you're, when you're that busy and consumed filming a video part, you know where you want to go and what you need to get. But now coming here, it's... I already, I have to leave tomorrow, but I'm already in my head planning on when I'm coming back, you know, so, and I want to come back real fast. How's the weather? When's the best time to come to Korea? It was definitely a, a hard decision after being with a brand. When you've been with a brand for 19 years, it's almost like not traveling all the time. You get an opportunity, but you never take it. Just like I've been so stuck with always filming in my neighborhood and staying home and never traveling, I got the best opportunity in the world to come to Korea. That's 
that's the best opportunity. I should have took it and went to Korea. But I didn't. <laughs> and I feel like that's happened time and time throughout my career of skating for DVS. And DVS was like a family to me. It was a family-owned business. And I started when they were uh, two years into the industry. But through time, a lot changes, you know? And after uh, 19 years, well, I think 16 years into the company, a new company took over. So a lot of the original owners, one by one, got fired, you know, or weren't there anymore. So it lost, little by little, I lost all my family that was there from the beginning. And the new owners, I tried to stick in there with them, but it just didn't work out. We, we bumped heads and, you know, you know in your heart, like, where you want to be. And I just didn't want to be there anymore. I, ne I needed a change as well as some new inspiration. So with Adidas, it was a... Uh, a better it was such a great choice and talking to um, the guys that I talked to and what they said to me it like there was more soul behind it like what they wanted to do what they want to create with the brand and what they want to do with the writers and, and you know the writers that are involved too Mark Gonzalez Dennis Buznitz there's so many writers from certain generations that are such key figures like I wanted to be a part of something like that so that's what kind of took me over there and it was a shocker to the industry you know and people some people are upset but some people are really happy so you can't make everyone happy you know so you have to do what you feel in here it seems like Korea though has been pretty supportive and you know that's really important to me because you know this is like I consider everybody in Korea like my family so you know it's important um, I think my favorite part is for me, I really like Dennis Buznitz's part, and I like um, Nikhil. God, it's such a tough one. I'm going to just say I like Dennis Buznitz's part. It's fast and just so spontaneous, you know? Oh, this, boom, okay, this, boom, 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 boom. So yeah, I like that part a lot. For me, I'm going to start filming so I can do some, I want to do a part for Adidas, you know? Try to get something out there. But this time around, it's going to be a different approach. And I want to try to get, I don't want to say it now, but I want to try to get a lot of footage in the soul. But I don't want to say it too much because then if I don't, people will be like, ah! <laughs> but my goal is to have three different types of sections in the one part to represent each stripe. And I want to end it with soul. You know, so one stripe, two stripe, third stripe, soul, boom, you know? So we'll see what happens. Oh, of course. Big shout out to all my Korean fans. Like, being here, being at the premiere, <laughs> and um, just the amount of love that I get from the Korean fans. Like, I felt it yesterday, and I couldn't believe it. I felt, I felt, it, it's like, it, it's so unexplainable. I, 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 felt so, I felt so proud by the way they were. I felt so proud to be Korean. And the thing for me is that I need to embrace the fact of where I came from and who I am and, you know, the people that I, you know, this, this is where I was born and this is where I need to have something and come and film here and represent for Seoul, you know, and that's my goal. And I just want to thank everybody for all the support my whole career that the Koreans have given me. It's really important and it's a key part of why I'm able to do what I do is because of the fans and where I'm nothing without, you know the people like family behind you. So just thank you. That's all I want to say.